everyone, it's Devanae and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this very exciting video, I'm going to do a haul of what I bought at this game. For those of you that don't know, I am actually obsessed, obsessed with this game. I love this game so much. Every time we go in, I like have to be um, supervised <laughs> because I will literally buy everything in this game. Just a disclaimer, this is not sponsored by this game at all. I got a gift card for my birthday um, that everybody laughed at me for. They were like, are you serious about which one? And I was like, yes, that is what I want. So I'm just using all of that. This is not sponsored by anybody. This is all my money and this is just my opinions of everything uh, that I bought to show you guys. Also, another disclaimer, I have used these products before I already did, I already opened them because I did film a video and I got the stuff because I was super excited but the makeup didn't come out as great as I wanted it to so yeah but I have used them but this is all new products and it is basically um, my first um, impressions of the products as well. So let's get into it. Okay, here's the bag. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take everything out and show you guys what I bought and then we're going to do the full face of makeup. Okay, so I've got these face masks. They are only 13 Rand. I think they are really great. I have tried them before so I had to get two of these. And on a separate related note, I bought a foundation before but that foundation is not my color. So I've been, and I don't want to like, nobody else is as light as me and I got a foundation that's too light so um, I got this foundation mixing pigment from LA Girl so this is supposed to make the foundation darker so that's exciting I got a makeup setting spray and then I got also this Catrice Cosmetics um, primer I've heard good things about this one. I got this Essence multi-use multi -use airbrush blender. Apparently this is like the new in thing. Excited. I got this um, Essence uh, Camouflage Concealer. And I got this Brow Styling Soap Set from Essence. And I got this What The Fake Extreme Plumping Lip Filler from Essence. And this Stay 8 Hour Matte Liquid Lipstick also from Essence. And then lastly I got the LA Girl Pro Powder Translucent Tint Powder. Okay, so we're gonna start. And I just wanna say again, I know I have a lot of Essence products and LA Girl products. Um, but like I said, I'm not sponsored by them. This is all my own money and my own review and everything. Let's get started. I've heard amazing things about this primer. It is the Perfecta Poreless Blur Primer with something, I don't know how to pronounce that, from Catrice. Um, makes pores and fine lines invisible and prolongs makeup wear. This is, um, it's not clear like the other one that I used from also Catrice I think I'm not sure um, this is how it looks so. Ooh, very smooth I like that primer is really important for the makeup I feel for myself because it really keeps the makeup on lets it wear long and I love that Sometimes you don't think there's a difference and you don't know what primer does, but there's a difference. My skin feels so smooth and ready for the makeup application. That's great. Okay, so the foundation we're going to try today is the Rimmel Lasting Finish um, Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation with SPF 20 and it's in the shade Ivory. It's really, really light. Um, also, my mirror is over here. Over here. <laughs> So I'm busy looking at that if you guys are wondering what I'm staring at. But anyway, so I have tried this foundation once. It's very nice. Um, it was very light though, so I only wore it the one time. And then I got this LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is in the shade Yellow. 
I'd say the shifts like to shades to a warmer tone. All right, so let's try that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the foundation first. I'm just gonna put a palm, just one. And I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna put that all over my face. If you get the neck, I used up all of that. I'm gonna take this. I'm not gonna put a lot, just a little bit, like that. I feel like that's too much already. And I'm just gonna take a little brush and I'm just gonna put that everywhere I put the foundation, just like little dots. Can be on the foundation, where I put the foundation, like that. I'm not gonna try and put a lot though, but if there is anything else then I'm just gonna add in more foundation. Looks a bit wild, trust the process. Okay, I still have some left if we do need it, so let's blend. We're just gonna use a foundation brush and we're just gonna start blending it. Okay, I don't know if it's because I used less foundation this time, but this really helps. Um, that looks amazing. I don't know, I feel like you would think that the brush um, absorbs a lot of the makeup, but it really doesn't. And it blends out amazing. I really love that. Oh, I'm so happy now I can use the foundation with the color correcting. Love this. Now I'm going to use the Essence Camouflage Healthy Glow Concealer in the shade 10 Light Ivory. I'm not going to use a lot. This is also very full coverage. Like I said, I have used it. I love it so much because these dark circles have got to go. I'm just going to apply it there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a brush because um, a lot of people are using brushes now and they say the application comes out much better than the um, people have watched and I want to try that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to try and blend this out if need be we'll use a beauty blender because I always use a beauty blender nothing wrong with beauty blenders absolutely nothing wrong we're just trying different things I'm also bringing it up into the my eyelids if necessary I don't know if this is the right brush I'm just using brushes but that's really good I love that look at the difference okay now I'm gonna set my under eyes with the essence multi-use airbrush blender apparently this is really really good I don't know we'll try so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the LA Gold Pro powder um, translucent setting powder what I'm gonna do is this also comes with a little spongy brush thing um, I'm show you guys like that <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this like this and I'm gonna dip it in a fair amount like that and I'm gonna press it into my hand because look how much ex excess powder that is okay and it's gonna look like that just to press it into the hand it's not wasting any of the powder it's just putting it into the sponge and I'm just gonna dab under my eye like that just around just to set the whole face because I don't want it to be like baking I'm just setting the makeup in okay now we're gonna do the brows because I lowkey forgot about it I'm gonna use the essence brows styling soap set I already did open it I was really excited and this is the spoolie that comes with it and I just bent the spoolie a little bit just to help with the application and the spoolie was in there and it comes with a little mirror so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of my setting spray just gonna put one spritz on there, one spray, just like that. And I'm gonna take the spoolie and I'm just gonna put that in there, like that. Okay, now we're gonna brush up the brow hairs in the shape you want. And you can go in for more if you want, and you can spray some more if you feel like that's what it needs. 
what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna take my finger and just press the head down that also really makes a difference now we're gonna take the Essence um, eyebrow pen semi-permanent in shade 04 dark I bought this a while back I really love this because it has like these little strokes on it I'll show you guys like that so it looks like hair strokes so now after the soap has dried with the brows I'm just gonna run this through the brows very lightly okay now I'm doing eyes I'm gonna be using two palettes I'm gonna be using the essence coffee to glow palette and the Caribbean Carnival Beauty Treats palette, which I also got at Disney. This is the Coffee to Glow palette, and we're gonna use this as a transition shade. We're gonna use that one, and I'm gonna put that on my whole lid. I'm gonna go for a very easy, summery, nice look today. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. It took very little at first because you can always build it up. So what I'm going to do is also the brush that I had did my concealer with. I'm just going to do the inside like this. Just to clean it up a little bit. Like that. There we go. Done. <laughs> just to clean that up. And maybe at the bottom. That's it. There is a shiny bronze shade here in this palette. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna swipe that across the rest of my lid. Quickly gonna curl my lashes before I do anything else. Now we're gonna do our eyeliner. And this is the Avon Power Stay 24 Hours Liquid Liner. I am obsessed with this liner. I love it so, so much. It's so easy to apply it and it's just so smooth and the brush is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm staring straight into the mirror and I'm just going to do a very small wing. I'm gonna leave it like this because I think the eyeliner can smell fear now and I don't want to ruin it. I'm now gonna use the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. I'm not gonna put on falsies because I really love this. Um, now we are done with the eyes. I completely forgot about the rest of the face. We're gonna use the Avon Color Train Blush. in the shade 02 dark face um i wanted a very nude look and i picked this one up and i don't know if i did swatch some and i don't know if i picked the wrong one this one is more pink um very disappointed but i really love it okay let's try it i really love it because once it dries it really stays on the whole time then we're gonna put on the What the Fake Extreme Plumping Lip Filler with Chili Extract. I love this so much. I didn't know which one to get because this one without the chili extracts. So I'm gonna put some of this gloss over. I love this gloss so much. And it really keeps my lips moisturized and so nice for like. And it makes my lips look bigger. So after a while it does tend to um, burn, <laughs> but totally worth it. And then lastly I'm going to go in with the makeup setting spray. This is the finished look. I really really love it and I hope it looks good on camera as it does in person. I really really love it. I was inspired with summery vibes with the yellow and these gorgeous earrings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all my other videos on my channel. 
and like and comment and subscribe to my channel and if there's anything you guys want to see please comment um and i'll try and make that happen so thanks for watching bye